This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We pack up our things and head west to the beautiful state of Wyoming. Join us as we follow two young Southern Wisconsin hunters on their first ever trek west to the famous RBJ Ranch for a late September antelope and mule deer hunt you won't want to miss. What a fish. Early bird gets the worm. That's what you come up here for. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews and Vortex Optics. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Don't let this hunt be your last. The tree clamp by Safe Tree Outdoors is as easy as set, snap, and strap. Simply secure a tree clamp to any hang-on stand. Set it, snap it, and strap it in place. The tree clamp is the safest, easiest way to hang any stand. Set, snap, and strap. Order your tree clamp at safetreeoutdoors.com. Kalins has been catching multi-species fish for over 30 years. From our crappy grubs, to our seismic series of hybrid swim baits and grubs, to our jerk minnows. You can't see that jerk minnow, can oh, you? To our garlic and salt impregnated wacko worm. That's a Kalen's wacko. Our premium line of Kalen jig heads. Oh, and our original Kalen's grub still does a pretty good job too. Fish, look at that Kalen's in her mouth right there. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, we get a chance to follow two young Wisconsin hunters on their first ever trip to Wyoming to hunt antelope and mule deer on the famous RBJ Ranch. Now the duo was among 12 lucky winners that were chosen for this all expense paid hunt by a nonprofit organization called Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenged. Let's join the crew as they're heading into camp right now. I'm Amy Witt. I grew up in small town, Campbellsport, Wisconsin. I graduated in, uh, in 2010 at a small school in a big town of Fond du Lac. So we were going to, to camp and everybody's greeting us. We didn't even have to unpack our bags for ourselves. They're like, you guys can go relax. Well, I was born in spina bifida. I was wearing leg braces till like freshman year of high school. I'm just wheelchair bound now and I drive and I hunt, I fish. All right, we're going live.
and then we went back to the room where we were staying. And hey everybody, well we got some honeymooners coming on their honeymoon to outdoor adventures. So us guys, we went to town, we got some candy kisses, make some hearts on their beds. There was like candy kisses like all over the floor and like a heart with an arrow going through it on my bed. It was like our honeymoon trip out there. I got up around quarter after five and Hammer wanted to be out the door by six o'clock. My guys for that day were Brad Hammermeister, Scott Gates. They all were helpful and they all did great jobs and I actually used uh, Scott Gates' gun. Well, this is my first time using the track chair. It helped me get around better, like up the hills and through thick stuff and through the mud. So we get out to the field we noticed that there was some animal up there, but we couldn't tell how many bucks there, how many does were there, but I could only shoot a buck. And so we get behind a hay bale, and there's, there's a couple of nice bucks there. There's a nicer one that was closer. It finally stood still, so there was no other antelope around it. Of course I've missed it. You dropped him right in his tracks. Good job. Yes. Yes. yes! Nice shooting, darling! It was right behind the leg. I shot it again and it went right down, like instantly. Boom. It was right behind the leg where like it bends, you know. Yep. yep. Good yeah. shot. Yeah. That's a nice gun though. <laughs> Good job. Thanks for letting me use your gun. You know what's gonna happen now? Hmm. You're gonna get blood on your face. I really don't care. Good job. That was awesome. Yeah. 
Ooh, I was a little nervous. So how far was it when you think I shot it? I've never shot in my wheelchair like this. That's awesome. That one. Awesome. Yeah. Good job. Thank you, man. That's just incredible. Awesome. That was a hell of a shot, though. <laughs> So I'm by the antelope, and then Keith, the camera guy, he goes up up this hill, because he Keith waving us up there, so then we left the antelope down there, then we went up there slowly. You know, that chair is pretty sturdy, so I didn't have to worry about tipping over or anything like that, too. And so we go up this hill, and we see this Brad sees this meal there. At first I couldn't see it. It was bedded down in all this brush, so it was, it was hard to see it. So it finally, it finally got off and started walking. You know, after it stood up, we had to make sure that there's four on one side, and he's like, yep, it's four on one side, you know, like, you're good to go. Left side. So obviously I couldn't shoot it when it was walking towards it, so I had to wait for it to turn. Took one step up closer, and then finally it turned. Got him! Yes! You dropped him dead in the tracks! Oh, that's fucking awesome! Oh, nice job! Right on the shoulder. Good job, honey. And it just went right down, just like a big pile of bricks. I just couldn't believe that I filled both of my tags. Don't I was happy to get them both in one day, but it wasn't even 11 o'clock. Nice. Thank you guys for like having me get this experience. Plus with my husband, plus on our honeymoon, it's just like, it's like you couldn't really ask for any more. You got all great guys out there. If you've never been out there hunting, you get a chosen for it, you'll have a blast. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral and HHA Sports. G2 Seeds. The results speak for themselves. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows. To the yard accuracy with a single reticle.
and the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. Because you didn't grow up with a poster of a Corolla on your wall. And during this month's summer clearance event, let the pros at Colby Chrysler Center be your pit crew. The new Hellcat, the 6.2 liter supercharged Hemi, puts out a ground pounding 707 horsepower, making this Challenger the most powerful muscle car on the planet. Value Implements serves all of West Central Wisconsin and knows more stores plus more selection equals more value. And value means providing our customers with a wide variety of quality Kubota products. Value means providing outstanding Kubota product knowledge and customer service. Value means providing the largest selection of Kubota products at six convenient locations. Value Implement. More stores. More selection. More value. You know, each year we receive thousands of photos from our viewers of animals that you've harvested and fish that you've caught. And we'd love to share them with you here on the show. All you have to do to be eligible to win is email us your photo or share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. And this year you can win some great prizes once again just for sending us your photos. Prizes include an assortment of musky lures from Nasebaits, a Yeti cooler from Petrick Service Station, a trip for two aboard the Grand Illusion 2 charter boat on Lake Michigan, and this year's grand prize, a four-day, three-night fishing vacation at Sunset Cove Resort on Lake of the Woods, Ontario. And remember, all you have to do to be eligible to win is send us your photo with your name and your hometown. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Amy, congratulations on your two great Wyoming trophies. Now next, we get to meet 17-year-old Drew Nockreiner and his mom, Stephanie. Now Drew's about to head out on his very first hunt. He has cerebral palsy, but he's not about to let that stop him from tagging a great Wyoming mule deer. Hey all, my name's Drew Steven Nockreiner. I reside in the beautiful town of Barry, Wisconsin. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm Drew's mom. We first found out about Outdoor Adventures when Drew was in a car accident and Outdoor Adventures wanted to help Drew get a new wheelchair. Um, turns out we were able to get a new wheelchair for Drew and when Brad called us back he asked us if, if we wanted to go on a hunt out out in Wyoming. I said sure for Drew, not really thinking about it too much because it was a year and a half away and it just seemed like there was so much going on at the time. And then um, he called back six months later and that's when it first started feeling real with Outdoor Adventures. You know, we looked up the website and Brad started calling us a little more often and, and talking to us about the trip and Drew had to go through hunter safety. He'd never done that before. So when Drew's hunting license came in from Wyoming um, in the mail, that's when we knew it was real and we started making plans to go out to Wyoming. Well, I'll be honest with you, when I found out about it, I was kind of mad. This isn't gonna be much fun because I'm kind of not a hunting kind of guy. I'm more, let's sit and play video games and accomplish nothing. But I did some deep thinking and I'm like, hey, you know, this might be a great time. We pulled into RBJ Ranch and uh, we didn't really know what to expect, but we pulled up and it was awesome. Everyone was ready to help Drew. The first thing I thought was, oh boy, I'm really out of my element here. Got to kind of talk to the guys, get to know them a little bit, got to crack some jokes, have a good time. And everyone was just excited to start the next day and, and get hunting. We went out 
uh, looking for some mule deer and there had been a couple spotted earlier that day so uh, we went out to uh, kind of a spot where you could see all around us and it was just uh, Drew and Gator and I out there Deer were definitely too far away for us to take a shot at. When things got dark, we just kind of said, let's pack up and go home for the night and try her again some other times. So Drew, rumor has it there's a 5x3 out there, 5x4 out there, or what do you think, we're going to get it? We're afraid to smoke it. So we had heard that there is a, a big mule deer out there and uh, we kind of knew the vicinity of it but we weren't really sure. There's a creek that ran through that was pretty deep. Um, There's a ravine. There was a lot of things that were uh, potential hazards in our way of finding this deer. So um, the first time we saw it, we were too far away and we decided how do we get out there and I said well we'll, we'll just do a Drew backpack. The guys looked at me like, what's a Drew backpack? I said, well, let me show you. And I picked him up and I, I uh, turned him around and got him on my back. I've been doing it since he was a baby, so. I know I'm a little too old for that, but anyhow, it was what we got to do. So you got to adapt to your surroundings and get things taken care of. And then Scott Gates, also known as Gator, switched off my mom and he hopped us the rest of the way. Gator set the tripod up and it was getting really dark. It was just to the last second and and all of a sudden he's like, oh, I got it, I got it, Drew. You hit him. <laughs> <laughs> you you bad boy! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he dropped right there, didn't he? Yep. He just dropped. Oh my god. And we thought we weren't gonna hit it, but as luck would have it, magic happened, and we we're able to take down that deer. Oh, Bradley, we did it. Good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. You are the man. It was worth it. Yes. I was so happy for Drew that he got to experience that whole thing. It wasn't a video game, it was real life, and but it felt like, it felt like we were on an adventure. It, it, it was life changing. There hasn't been a lot of times where there's been that many people around just excited to take care of Drew and being around that many men who are um, stand-up men, they all are, they're fantastic. And I, I just think that whole experience really, really guided him. He had the sparkle in his eye again and it was a sparkle I hadn't seen in quite a while with him. I can still see that that experience really changed him, you know, from a, a child to an adult. Some sort of infinite possibility of life happened with him when he was out there. Pretty big there, buddy. Look at that sucker. Oh my God, Drew. I smoked him, man. Eh? Hey. smoked him. Nice you, shooting. Where'd you nail? Where'd you get hit? Right in the front shoulder, right here. No way. <laughs> that far away. <laughs> nice job, Drew. Thank you, love. That was so worth it. What do you think? Can I touch it? No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to... Hey, hey, bud, you want to hold that leg? Yep. I can't believe we dropped from one shot, too. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sparky, I shot a huge bill deer. Hope you're proud. The beats gonna be super tasty. Sparky is a big outdoorsman and he's always tried to get me hunting but I've never been really interested in it until after the hunting trip. I'll share it with you buddy.
I'm very thankful for the people I met out there. You'll never be the same afterwards. You'll have the time of your life. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone at Outdoor Adventures. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Brewpub Pizza and Nays Bates. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Since 1957, Meyer Buildings has offered full design and project management for your farm, equestrian, commercial, and storage building needs. Our recreational building line specializes in the design and construction of affordable, remote area buildings for the outdoorsman. This is my second Meyer building. I've been satisfied both times. Their design assistance, the quality of the construction, and their attention to detail is perfect. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, we offer custom building solutions for all of your building needs. Log on today for a better way to build. Big Bear Down. Whether you're looking for a sweet recipe for bear bait or quality hunting products, we've got you covered. Big Bear Down offers all their bait selections by the bag, the barrel, or in bulk. From crushed sugar cones, trail mix, and granola, to our syrups, frostings, and bait toppings, we've got the variety to keep the most cautious bears coming back again and again. Big Bear Down is also your one-stop shop for quality hunting stands, blinds, and game trail cameras. Look for Big Bear Down by our distributing at two convenient Wisconsin locations or at a retailer near you. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by the W.C. Russell Moccasin Company and Golden Hawk Canoes. You know, Outdoor Adventures for the Physically Challenged has been providing an opportunity for disabled and terminally ill hunters to take part in the hunt of a lifetime for the past five years. If you would like to get involved with this great nonprofit organization, or if you know of somebody that may benefit from this trip, log on to the website here on the screen. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Kurt, that's kind of a deep question. Outdoor Bound, or what? Outdoor Adventures TV? Or Outdoor Bound TV. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think, Mom? Not bad, huh? Should I be honest? You don't like it, do you? Oh, shut up! High five. Okay. <laughs> oh, God, it's agonizing. It's more than just your potty mouth. Outdoor bound TV. What's the end of it go? We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> <laughs>